In this video, we want to discuss the solutions of the system of linear congruences in two variables. So the result says the system of linear congruences in two variables. As we can see that we have considered now x and y, two variables. And we have considered two congruences. So in the same way, we can consider more also. This has unique solution modulo n whenever gcd of ad minus bc comma n is equal to 1. Now before I proceed to the proof of this theorem let me do take a single linear congress of two variable. So if we consider a linear congress in two variable. So let us consider only single congress and uh, let's consider it's only in two variable. So something like this where we can have ax plus by congruent to c modulo n. Now we want to see when we have the solution of this and even for this I need to recall what is the system of uh, what is the solution of the linear congruence. Say if we have the system this ax congruent to b modulo n something like this where you have only one variable. Now we said that this has a solution if and only if gcd of a and n divide b so if you take the gcd of a and n and if it divides this b which is now in this position uh, generally this is if it is less than n we consider this b as a remainder so if gcd of a and n divide b then it has a solution now in the same analogy if i want to see the solution of this so that means here i should have gcd of a b and n should divide c because you can see that we have the coefficient of x coefficient of y and the and the modular integer these three gcd should divide this c so if this condition hold if this is true then we can say that the linear congress in this two variable is solvable. So now let's come to our problem. We said that this system above system where you have two variables and then you have two linear congresses. This has unique solution whenever GCD of AD minus BC comma N is equal to 1. So this assumption is given to us that whenever you have to take the GCD is equal to 1, this should have a unique solution. Now let's prove this. The given congresses are these and the given condition is this. Now it is similar when we solve this uh, linear equations in two variable and we want to cancel out one of the decision variable and find the solution for the another one. So if we want to cancel, say for example, we want to cancel the y in this case. So multiply the first congruence by d and multiply the second congruence by b, which are the coefficient here and then simply subtract. So this is a standard technique uh, called the elimination of a particular variable and the same technique we are going to try in the congruences also. So multiplying first congruence by d and second by b we get ad minus bc times x. So we have multiplied first by d and second by b and subtracted and we got dr minus bs modulo n. So that's what we get and we know that from this condition the coefficient of x is ad minus bc and inside the modulo we have n. Their gcd is 1 and 1 will always divide the integer which is here. So this means this is solvable and it's solvable and because the gcd is 1 so the solution is unique. Now this we have already done in my previous video. So whenever we can say that this is a linear congress in one variable. If their gcd is 1 and it divides b it has a unique solution. So you can watch my previous video for this uniqueness and so to find the solution of this since we know that this is solvable we all we have noticed that ad minus bc comma n this gcd is one so let's construct a linear congress corresponding to this so you can say that ad minus bc attach a variable z congruent to one modulo n because their gcd is one so you can just keep this quantity one this is always going to have a solution and now let's say t is the solution once you know that t is the solution corresponding to this uh, particular case so when this congress 1 is multiplied by t so let's multiply on both side by t so what we'll get ad minus bc into t times x which is congruent to t times dr minus bs modulo n this will hold now because i said that t is a solution of my this linear congress this means ad minus bc into t congruent to 1 modulo n this is satisfied right so this means this value is we can replace it by 1 now this is what we are going to do replace this value by 1 
सो दिस इज वन इंटू एक्स कॉन्ग्रेन टू टी टाइम्स डी आर माइनस बी एस मॉड एन एंड सो हियर वी गॉट एक्स इज कॉन्ग्रेन टू टी टाइम्स डी आर माइनस बी एस मॉड एन सो ये नाउ वी नोटिस दैट द कोफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स इज वन एंड सो यू गॉट दिस इज द सोल्यूशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू मॉडलो एन फॉर एक्स now similar procedure i'll repeat uh, for the variable x and so that i'll can get the value for y so again consider the same uh, congruences and you can see the coefficient of x is here a and here it is c so multiply the first congruence by c and the second congruence by a and subtract so when we subtract the first terms get cancel out and so we we have b times c and then we got a times d so we will have cb Minus because I am saying subtract so e either you can say C B minus A D or you may consider A D minus B C so this negative sign is immaterial you can subtract second from one or one from two so let's just consider A D minus B C this is congruent to A S minus C R modulo n so A is multiplied by S and C is multiplied by Are so we are subtracting second minus one congruence. Now again, ah uh, this and here it is y. Now again we know that as a d minus b c and n this g c d is one. This is given to us that their g c d is one. So in the same way, construct a linear congruence corresponding to this condition. We can have a d minus b c times some z congruent to one mod n. now because this is a linear congruence it's this is just a coefficient these are integers then we got a variable and here it is one so this has a unique solution and if this has a unique solution let's call this unique solution as t so this means ad minus bc into t times which is congruent to 1 mod n and now let's call this congruence as 2 so multiply by t on both side multiply by t to 2 On both sides. So when I multiply by both side, what I will get is we will have a d minus b c into t into y, which is congruent to t times a s minus c r modulo n. And we have just shown that this quantity is one. So let's replace again this by one. So it is only y because this has been replaced by one. Y is congruent to t into a s minus c r modulo n. and so you can find a solution for y so this means it is possible to find the solution y and earlier we have found the solution for x but this was possible only when we have considered the condition that ad minus bc comma n is equal to 1 so that establishes our theorem and in the theorem as we can see that we said that it has a unique solution whenever this gcd is equal to 1 so we found that x is always congruent to t times dr minus b s modulo n this is one solution for x and for y y is congruent to t a s minus c r mod n where t is the solution corresponding to x and this was unique as we have already said this is unique and this particular t was a solution corresponding to y if there is a confusion in this t variable you may we can keep this as t dash it doesn't matter because this was solved when we have eliminated x this was found when we have eliminated y now let's solve the system of linear equation in two variable and here we have two variable x and y so in the first time we need to eliminate x and the second time we need to eliminate y we just did this result that whenever we have this generic system this has unique solution whenever gcd of ad minus bc comma n is equal to 1 So from the above system, let's note down what is a, b, c, d, r, s, and n, and validate this condition that a d minus b c n this has g c d one, which is true as you can see that this is one. So the system has unique solution. Now in my original system, I need to find x and y. So let's eliminate x and another time y. So to eliminate y, you can see that here you can see the coefficient five and three. So first. Congruence should be multiplied by five, and second congruence should be multiplied by three, and then subtract. We got twenty nine times x is congruent to five into ten minus three into nine modulo sixteen. Now, if you just reduce this, this will become twenty nine times x twenty three modulo sixteen. Twenty nine is larger than sixteen, so this I have reduced to thirteen x congruent to twenty three is further congruent to seven modulo sixteen. 
to find the solution now you can see that i want to reach to this is the solution that i've already calculated so what i did is i multiplied on both side by 5 so if you multiply by both side by 5 13x will become 65x and 7 into 5 will become 35 and i know that 65x is congruent to x modulo 16 because if you take x on this side it will become 64 and 16 divide 64 so here the 65 will turn to x 35 is further congruent to 3 so we got x is congruent to 3 modulo 16 that is the solution for x and y is already eliminated now let's look at the second case we want to eliminate x here so the coefficient of x is 7 and 2 multiply the first by 2 and second congruence by 7 so i have subtracted first congruence from the second to get this one and so we got 29 times y is 7 into 9 minus 2 into 10 when you solve you got 43 on left hand side you got 29 again 29 and 43 are larger than 16 so you reduce this is 13 y this is 11 bottle 16 again since we got 30 uh, 13 y so multiply both side by 5 we got 65 y we got 55 modulo 16 65 is back congruent to y as we have just discussed here so whether you keep x or you keep y 16 divide 64 so this result again will validate 55 is congruent to 7 modulo 16 so y is congruent to 7 mod 16 so x congruent to 3 mod x is congruent to 3 and y is congruent to 7 mod 16 they become the solution of our system of linear congresses and these are the unique solution so here we have learned how to solve the system of linear congresses with two decision variable